what can I do to make you want me, communicates that you don't stand for anything. It shows that you don't have integrity. Integrity is standing for something, standing for yourself, standing for who you are at your core and being true to that. Integrity is do your feelings match your words, match your actions. So stop trying to force yourself into someone else's box or someone else's desires or someone else's expectations or mold yourself just so that they're gonna like you because that's acting. Don't try to be anyone else and don't try to be anything else for someone else. Be you. Because the reality is that you at your core, beneath the layers of insecurity and anger and jaded and sad and expectation and rejection and not good enough and doing what everyone else tells you to do and doing what you think you should do and all of those other bullshit layers that make you act in a totally screwed up and disingenuous way, under all of that, you're amazing. So let you shine. Don't try to make anyone want you because you can't make anyone want you. But what if you do? What if you really do make someone want you, then what? Because pretty soon the real you is going to have to come out. And if they can't like you for who you really are, if they prefer the version of you that you created, then screw them. You don't need them and they don't deserve you. So screw Prince Charming. And I don't mean literally. Stop going after what you think you want and really think about what you need. And it is not Prince Charming. Because let's look at the reality of this charming prince. This unbelievably handsome man arrives on a horse and sweeps you away from all that is real and difficult and life. He takes you to a castle where you are completely divorced from reality and he does what? Well, he sits there and he's hot and what else? What life qualities does he possess that you actually need besides being arm candy and giving you a castle to sit in? I've been swept off my feet by Prince Charming. Several of them. One came in my life during a moment of major weakness when all I wanted to do was escape, and he let me. I escaped into his reality of beautiful homes and cars and jewelry and trips and dinners and stuff. But beyond the showy giant-sized bronze entry doors and the sleek imported marble floors was a very different reality. One within which I was not encouraged and even shamed, ridiculed, and relentlessly put down for being me. While I held fast to the dichotomy of my quirky, outspoken, delicate identity, in time that chipped away, and soon I didn't recognize me. And then there was the Prince Charming whose looks and charm truly were storybook. And I became the doer, provider, achiever, and the one who was responsible for being responsible. And that didn't work either. I'm not trying to be the princess and the pea and be difficult. What I'm trying to do is let you know that you need to get back to reality. Screw Prince Charming. What do you really honestly need in a relationship? And I'm not just talking about what would be fun or nice or exciting today, next month, or even next, next year. If you're serious about finding something serious, something lasting and real, get real. Think about what you really need when it comes to sharing a life with another person. Do your values align? Do you feel safe, sexy, seen, intellectually stimulated, respected, admired, supported, emotionally or financially? Whatever is important to you. And how do you feel about them? Are you able to truly be you? I mean, in your weakest, not pretty, not fun, not on, not perfect. And you're still loved. Can you really let down your hair or put it up in a messy, and I don't mean sexy, messy ponytail, and really be you? Are you dating or in a relationship? Well, here's what you want. Someone who doesn't complete or compete with you. You complement each other. You're both on pedestals and holding hands in between. Sometimes you feel weak and their strengths support you. Sometimes they feel weak and your strengths support them. And when that happens, you don't look down on one another. You don't ridicule the other. You don't lose faith or respect. You complement each other. Sometimes you're shining and sometimes they are. And then other times you both are shining and there's no competition. You're on the same team with the same goal, which sometimes means giving the ball to the other in order to get the better shot. And other times it means that you're gonna run with it and they're gonna cheer you on all the way. A healthy relationship is a complementary relationship and that starts with dating. I have a client whose boyfriend would always go through her phone in the middle of the night. She would catch him when she was going to the bathroom. He was looking for signs that she was cheating and questioning her on unknown numbers. I mean, interrogating her. She, he would get upset about flirty Instagram comments and likes on Facebook when he was the one who was cheating and his phone was filled with dozens of photos of different 
women's naked breasts. All selfies. Chemistry is rare. It is simply a drug-like state that makes your brain and your sex organs get excited. And another problem is that the chemistry-fueled relationships are so intense and that chemistry fades. And when the reality sets in of who they actually are, then you're sitting there wondering where those crazy feelings went, assuming that you fell out of love when really you're settling into the comforting and calm rhythm of reality. Dating heart first makes you lose sight, be blinded to, and ignore red flags just because it feels good. But the truth is that they're not good for you. Date head first for the first date. Then allow your heart and your hormones to enter. Sticky. Sticky is someone who is magnetic, memorable, and makes others want more. You're that person who people think, God, there's something about them. I don't know what it is, but there's something about them that, that makes it so I can't get them out of my mind that makes me want more of them. Someone who's not sticky, on the other hand, that's someone who on a date someone might say, you know, they're really nice, they're really great, I really like them, but it's just something is missing. That's something that something is sticky, and that stickiness is what you want to be. You are interesting and interested. You're intriguing. You light up the room and also calm people and root down. You're someone who is boyfriend, girlfriend, and marriage material. They want more of you. They think about you randomly during the day. You are stuck in their minds. You are implanted in their hearts. And that is the first impression that you want to make.